All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Stevie Geek, and welcome to the first gameplay playthrough of 2017. Yes, dudes, I'm finally playing a game on this channel again. Now, it's a game that I've been particularly wanting to play for the longest time. I mean, I've heard so much great things about this freaking game. And I never actually got around to playing it. Now, shout out to Cameron, one of my loyal bee geeks out there who sent me this as a gift. And you know, I, I thank you so much for that, dude. That means it means the world to me that you sent this out for me so I can do a playthrough on it. And it made me so happy because I actually really, really wanted to play this game. I heard so much awesome stuff about this game. I mean, the narrator in this game is meant to be really, really captivating and tells a story really well. But honestly, I have no idea what this game is about. So I'm pretty excited to hop straight in. So lads, without further ado, let's play this game. What's this? End is never the end. Is never the end? is loading how long is this gonna take to load that bar is not even moving oh it's moved it moved a few moments later hmm. this is the story of a oh here we go we're in stanley. stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> Orders came to him through a monitor. That's pretty desk, simple. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Oh my this god, is what that job sounds painful. 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. <laughs> and Stanley was happy. Well, if Stanley was happy, then and that's then the main day, thing, isn't it? Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh, what he happened? He'd been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No oh. one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This oh. complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Holy shit. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up oh, look at this. and stepped out of his office. I can see what you guys are saying about the narrator. That is... What a storyteller. Okay, so Stanley moves pretty damn fast. I mean, are you sure his name is Stanley or Barry? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The meeting room? Okay, let's find the meeting room. What does that room say? Oh, okay. Um, let's find the meeting room. I guess. Where the feck's the meeting room, dudes? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright, lads. Uh, honestly, don't know where I'm supposed to go. Stanley came to a oh, set here we go. Open doors. He entered the door on his left. Hey, I heard there's interesting things happen when you don't do what the narrator says. So, in this playthrough, I'm going to do the complete opposite to what the narrator says. Now, I know at the start he said go to the meeting room, and I, and I did just that. But I think that's how you start the game. So, I'm going to go to the right door and see what happens. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge. Where is the employee lounge? I'm not going to the employee, employee lounge, but where is it? Okay, I think I don't have a choice really unless I open these doors. These doors are open. Okay, so there's some there's some decisions that I have to make that I like. I have no real choice in the matter. So ah yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, 
Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. But hey. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first <laughs> open door on his left. How about this? How about this, narrator? No, Stanley won't listen to you, narrator. Stanley's gonna do the opposite to what you say. So fuck yourself. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> I think the narrator's getting annoyed with me. Why, why is it when I click the mouse, it's like I'm pushing buttons on a keyboard? Can you guys hear that? <laughs> what the shit? Okay. Whoa, where are we, yo? Oh, lads, this is cool. Oh, we're out in the warehouse. This is fucking awesome. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your <laughs> enemy, really, I'm not. I Are you sure about that? I your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's I don't believe you. neglecting Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. <laughs> I'm asking for her. For her? Who's her? Who, who's he this referring it, to? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's what? been waiting. Who? Who the heck is the narrator going on about? <laughs> this is... I really like this game. I can understand why people really, 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 really like this game. Because it's got some serious, awesome aspects to it. I mean... Like, this game was actually released years ago, but considering the graphics, I like them. I really like them. I like this first-person feel. The narrator, I mean, come on, he speaks for himself. I mean, that voice is in a perfect storytelling voice. Um, I need to look up who the voice of the Stanley Parable is. But um, it's very interesting how we can make choices in this game as well. Probably the first of its kind, I'd say, considering when this was released. But let's keep going, lads, and see. Whoa, we just entered the that the That's shit her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh shit, I listened to the array. I oh my god! Why did I do that? I was supposed to not listen to him. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, what? Right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> what? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to oh. make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Why are you gonna be so mean? Let me show you what's really going on here. What? What the this shit? Is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? I died? Good morning, employee 427. Press 3 on your keyboard. Uh, I don't want to press 3. You can't make me press 3. I won't press it. Fine, I'll press it. I did. Nothing happened. Okay, maybe this Stanley tree. is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Hey, I don't want to press Q. Okay, I'm going to press F. What? No, how about this? F U. Okay, I'll press Q. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's <laughs> coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's hey, chosen this life. Why are you gonna be such a dick? Press H. But in his mind, ah, in his I'm mind, I'm doing he what he says. Fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful, and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press four to watch TV. Watch TV. Okay, I guess let's see what's on. And so he began to fantasize about his own job, 
Hey, what? First, he imagined TV there. that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The oh my God! Excited him terribly. Press J to spend time with the boys. With the boys? Who? The lads? The lads? Or do I have kids? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press A to prepare dinner. What the heck is going on, lads? World, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Press P to tell your kids the story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press T to tell your wife you love her. But I don't have a wife and I don't have kids. What's this narrator no doing to me? How could there possibly be? Oh shit, my In office! Reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he oh! spends, it, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. What? Press J to go to sleep, but I don't want to go to and sleep. I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Screw you. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he what? remains here, he's electing to kill himself? What? How can I get what him to I see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press G to question nothing. What am I doing? I said I wasn't going to listen to this, and I'm doing just that. Because I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley Please. pushed a button. And I tried Die. again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I What just happened? Did I just fail miserably? Did I... What? Oh, okay, what's going on now? All of his co-workers were gone. What oh, we're starting again! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Alright, dudes. Alright, lads. So this is a very interesting game. As you've seen there, i done the opposite to what the narrator was saying at the start. But then I kind of started listening to him. And then I don't know if that changed it at all, but... I'm gonna end this playthrough here as 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 this one, as part one of this playthrough, because I am curious to continue, but I don't want to do it right away. I want to have several different parts of this series, and I really like the fact that the decision I made had a really, really weird ending. So, I heard there is multiple different endings to this game, and I think I found one of them so far. I'm gonna look them all up. Time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. Oh my god, what? The narrator is even narrating me standing there. So every little decision we make affects the game. But anyway, dudes, I'm going to end this 
episode of the Stanley Parable right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave this video a like, a thumbs up, and that'd be fucking awesome. And if you want to stick around with me, TV Geek, this Irish dude that just wants to have fun playing video games for you guys on a regular basis, it's very simple. What you dudes need to do, and that's sting that subscribe button. And that'd be super awesome also. And as always, lads, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next video. See you later, dudes.